a new study actually links stressful jobs to a heart rhythm disorder. Researchers found those who are stressed at work have a 48% higher risk of something known as atrial fibrillation. And atrial fibrillation causes an irregular rhythm in your heart. And your heart's basically electrical conduction system, where that signal comes from, gets interrupted. And so you develop this irregular heart rhythm and it can lead to a very fast heart rate. But also what can happen is, over time you can develop blood clots in your heart. And that can lead to obviously a whole host of other issues, including, including increasing your risk for stroke. And it's interesting because getting back to the mind-body connection, you would think, oh, well, stress up here, heart down here. But, but studies like this make sense, right? Because if you're stressed out all the time, you're increasing your, your cortisol in your bloodstream, your what we call in medicine, your stress hormones, right, what you may know as, you know, that are gonna affect your adrenaline. Yeah. Yeah. And that does affect your heart, your heart rate, your even potentially Blood your pressure. heart structure. So I think this is an opportunity also to, we just talked about end of life care. What about during work care? So many of us, we just just put on that, that straight jacket and we take, I, I'll, I'll say take the bullets, but what I'm really referring to is those day-to-day -day stressors and we just accept them and we never take time. I mean, stress is yeah. part of life. You can't, you can't totally uh, escape it completely, but. But there's good are, stress and yeah. bad stress. Yeah, that's right. But 25% of people say the jobs are their number one stressor. So that, that for a lot of people is the number one thing. Let's go through a few things that maybe we should do a better job of to decrease stress. Well, you know, as far as work, you start early in the morning with your work day. What do I do? And it's worked for me for years. Start 30 minutes earlier. So just set that alarm 30 minutes earlier. You're not rushed with that first cup of coffee. You're not rushed getting dressed. There may be less traffic. I do that every time I come to Paramount. I come early just to avoid traffic. We know in LA the traffic is one of the biggest sources of stress. So I'm sort of eliminating. I can attest to this. He has never once been caught in traffic in the morning because in 11 years, you've always gotten here early. Every single day, rain or shine, you are, you're here early. You he, beat all that stress. And he shows, and he shows up with a smile. I do, and yeah. I'm de-stressed, and yeah, it's, we're challenged with what we have to do with work, either here or in the office. It's a smart but for tip. Me, for me, that tip, tip has really worked. And I think another important thing is establishing boundaries. And it can be really hard, but you don't just always want to be working. So even if you say, during dinner, I'm not going to check my email, I'm not going to answer the phone, then that can really help lower the stress. There has to be some separation there. Yeah. And, and, and the workplace, too. The get, I mean, I know that, that you're expected to work and you can't take breaks all the time, but, but find your own way to... To, to escape mm -hmm. that stress for even if it's a short period of time. Yeah. And then I would just add that one of the reasons so many of us experience stress is because you're working so hard and you don't even know if you're doing a good job. Maybe you're not getting good feedback. So praise yourself. If you put in a hard day's work and you know you did the best you could, get to the end of that day and say, you know what? Darn, you're a good TV host. Yeah, you are. <laughs> But whatever you're doing, if you praise yourself, that is reinforcing positive emotions at the end of the day, no matter how hard you work, as long as you acknowledge that. You know what? No one may have noticed today, but I'll tell you what, I know, I noticed how hard I worked today. A little pat on the back, you get home and you feel a little more fulfilled, and then you've created that boundary. Yep. And just also at the end of the day, take a nice deep breath. Let work roll off your shoulders so that the rest of your life it doesn't affect you. And certainly we don't want you to end up in the ER with atrial fibrillation. Right. <laughs> no.